served in Gulf War. Made in United States. 700 horsepower. 43 tons. You've heard of powerful trucks, but what if I told you that the most powerful army truck in the world, the Oshkosh M1070HET, can haul tanks like they're mere playthings? Yes, you heard that right. This beast is designed to transport the M1 Abrams, a tank that weighs a staggering 60 tons. Imagine that for a moment, 60 tons. Now here's where things get really interesting. While this truck is an absolute monster on the road, it's not the only one in its league. Stick around and you'll learn how it stacks up against other military powerhouses, including a Russian rival. If you are fascinated by what this truck can do, keep watching. Before we dive into the world of the Oshkosh M1070HET, can we get 1,000 likes on this video? And don't forget to subscribe. All right, so what makes this truck so special? For starters, the M1070HET is a tank transporter. Not just any tank transporter, though. It's the U.S. Army's go-to vehicle for moving the M1 Abrams tank, one of the heaviest tanks in the world. But that's not all. This truck can also haul armored personnel carriers, self-propelled artillery, bulldozers, and a whole bunch of other military hardware. Think about it. The kind of stress and weight this vehicle endures on a daily basis is off the charts. The M1070HET was initially developed in the early 90s to replace the outdated M911-1 tractor unit and M747 semi-trailer. It has since become the backbone of heavy military transport, not just for the U.S. Army, but also for several other nations worldwide. In fact, over 2,900 of these trucks were built for the U.S. and export markets. But it's not just the numbers that make this truck special. It's also the cutting-edge engineering that went into it. The Oshkosh M1070 comes in two main configurations, the original A0 model and the upgraded A1 version. The A1 is a monster, boasting a Caterpillar C18 engine that cranks out an incredible 700 horsepower, a leap from the 500 horsepower of the original A0 model. Can you imagine driving that kind of power? Let's get into the nitty gritty. The M1070 features a fully armored cab that seats the driver, a crewman, and up to four passengers. This cab can handle serious threats, from small arms fire to explosive devices. The chassis is made from high-strength carbon manganese steel, making it robust enough to carry the immense loads it's tasked with. And with a central tire inflation system, this truck can tackle any terrain from highways to muddy fields. Want more tech specs? This beast is equipped with Axletech 5000 series axles, anti-lock brakes, and traction control. It even features a tire inflation system that allows the operator to adjust pressure depending on the terrain. You'd think with this kind of complexity, it'd be slow, but that's where you'd be wrong. Despite its size and weight, the M1070 can hit speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, even when fully loaded. And when things get rough, the M1070 doesn't just drive, it pulls. The truck is fitted with multiple winches that can haul up to 24,947 kilograms, or about 55,000 pounds. That's enough to pull out a stranded vehicle or even recover military equipment in combat zones. Now you're probably thinking, okay, it's big and powerful, but how does it perform in intense, high-stress situations? Well, this truck has been tested in some of the most brutal environments you can imagine. From the sweltering deserts of the Middle East to the freezing winters in Eastern Europe, the M1070HET has proven it can survive and operate efficiently. And here's a quick comparison. Russia's KZKT-7428 also hauls heavy military equipment, but it lacks some of the advanced suspension and control systems that make the M1070 the preferred choice in more rugged terrains. And how about comparing it to your average powerful truck? While civilian trucks might hit high horsepower numbers, like the Volvo FH16, which boasts 750 horsepower, 
The difference here is what the M1070 can do with that power. Civilian trucks haul loads up to 44 tons on well-paved roads. The M1070? It moves more than double that weight over hostile terrain. There's really no competition. Now let's talk about the British Army's version, the Oshkosh M1070F. In 2001, this model replaced the old Scammell Commander as the British military's tank transporter. While it shares a lot of similarities with the US Army's M1070, the M1070F is slightly different. It comes with a more advanced Caterpillar C18 engine and upgraded transmission, making it a real workhorse in the British fleet. The UK ordered 92 of these trucks, and they've seen action all around the world, from peacekeeping missions to full-scale military deployments. Like its US counterpart, the M1070F can handle heavy armor, making it an essential part of the British Army's logistical operations. It's not just the US and UK that recognize the power of the Oshkosh M1070HET. This truck is used by militaries around the world, including Egypt, Iraq, Israel, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. Egypt is one of the largest users outside of the US, having received 249 units. Iraq and Jordan have also placed substantial orders each receiving over 50 units to bolster their heavy transport capabilities. These countries understand the importance of having a reliable, high-capacity hauler, and the Oshkosh M1070 fits the bill perfectly. Whether moving tanks or other heavy equipment, this truck continues to prove itself on the global stage. Did you know that Oshkosh M1070 has even made its way to Hollywood? This truck appeared in the 1984 classic Red Dawn, and you might have caught a glimpse of it in the film Major Movie Star in 2008. It was also featured in the military documentary series Tank Overhaul, showcasing its vital role in modern military operations. So next time you watch an action-packed military film or documentary, keep an eye out. You might just see the M1070 in action. Here we go. And that's a wrap on the Oshkosh M1070HET, the most powerful truck in the military world. If you enjoyed learning about this absolute beast, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on military technology, powerful vehicles, and all things extreme. Got questions or thoughts? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.